good guys welcome back to ron's rise welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where we have this very unique alfro male breda with a julia quadrifolio front end and i want to know your honest opinion on it now the alfro male breda had remained on the market for a very short period of time i mean five years from 2005 to 2010 and the model of the bichione has nevertheless been able to leave its market among enthusiasts now mindful of the good old days paris's five garage realizes the gt sud est version and i will link them down in the description below where you can find their video on this car because it's quite incredible. And while the head of the company responsible for the project is Friends Chopper. Now the conversion work took almost a year, but the work itself can be completed without much pressure within four months with two or three skilled professionals in the field. Now first, the front has been significantly changed. In fact, instead of the front of the standard Alfa Romeo Brera shared with the same age 159, the choice is directed to the bumper, grill, and light units of the Giulia Quadrifoglio. Now the final result, however, is a much longer front overhang compared to the Julia Wheel Wheel Drive. Now as a result, the task team had all the way uphill, and to meet the needs of fans, it has created new front fenders adapting the car body for this purpose, which in a nutshell is more enlarged with taper headlights. Now in addition, the hood is designed so that it's well combined with the lines of the front as with the carbon fiber splitter. Now, a similar treatment was applied to the enlarged rear fenders with the redesigned side skirts and rear side window covers. And again, the diffuser, the rear, and the aftermarket LED rear lights, recalling the Tenale, give a strong personality. Now, if you talk instead of the livery, the Alfa Romeo Beretta GT Sud EST sports a blue paint with yellow graphics and sponsor stickers along the side. And instead of 260 bhp out of the 3.2 liter v6 jts engine the auto delta j5 engine was fitted for the occasion capable of delivering 348 horsepower now the cost to do all of this well around 20,000 euros and that price is destined to increase in the case of what you choose requesting on refined materials such as kevlar or carbon fiber but with that said, a lot of work has been put into this Barrera, and I want to know, what do you guys think about this custom Alfa Romeo Barrera with the Quadrifoglio front end? I know everyone's not going to like it. I know some people are going to love it, but drop your comments down below. Now, with that said, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a big like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it, and we'll have a bigger discussion on this very unique custom Alfa Romeo Barrera GT Sud EST. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below. We have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, my Patreon, just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate that extra love and support, guys. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch. You can get t-shirts, stickers, tank tops, hoodies, everything Ron's Rise is there. And I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. See everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, Afro Mail, and Fiat that doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.